This monkey is playing ping pong using his mind. Neuralink claims that you can learn any language instantly. You will have superhuman vision and hearing and you can control machines with your mind and you can also download your brain to a computer. Now the question how something this big can allow you to do all of this. In this video, the neurosurgeons will let you know if this is possible or not. This is the neurosurgeons channel and this is the only place where you find two neurosurgeons talk to you about everything about the brain and spine. <laughs> In 2019, Elon Musk started this company which is called Neuralink. Neuralink will aim to put implantable chips in our brain which will use Bluetooth technology which is basically the same technology that we have in our phones which will allow to read the signals from the brain and in the future they aim that this will allow the humans to have superhuman powers. We know that certain electrical patterns happen in the brain when you're doing certain movements or even having specific thoughts. These signals have been used in the past to read brain waves in animals and also in humans. In 2002, a monkey was able to use a computer controller cursor just using his mind. In 2008, a monkey was able to move a robotic arm using his mind again. And in 2012, the first human was able to move a robotic arm using just their brain. In 2018, a human was able to use their brain to surf the internet. And in 2019, Neuralink came along and they implanted a chip into a pig who was okay after the procedure and they were able to read the pig's brain waves afterwards. Previously, these technologies had used about 200 to 300 wires inside the brain to read the signal, but Neuralink was using about two and a half thousand wires to read brain activity, which was a huge step forward. Other companies are developing tech in this field and have already placed implants in humans. One such company has been able to implant a device using a small stent which has gone into the vein of the brain as a brain computer interface. And as a result of this, California-based tech company Synchron was able to allow a patient to tweet just using his mind. Musk and his company Neuralink made this robot, which will allow them to put this implantable chip in our brains in less than an hour with light sedation. So you can wake up in the morning, go to the local Neuralink center, get your chip implanted and go back home, get your lunch with uh, wires in your brain, which can read your brain signals. In neurosurgery, we place deep brain stimulation wires in our patients in very specific locations using very specific instruments for a very specific goal. Even when we do this procedure using this robot, there is a risk of infection or bleeding and a risk also of stroke or brain damage of about 1%. To put that in context, if all of New York had a Neuralink place, that would be about 85,000 people having side effects of stroke or brain damage, which is about half the population of Dundee or a quarter of the population here in Glasgow. Musk is a king of hype and he's a marketing genius. However, we are years away from what he's talking about. There are still many hurdles to overcome if Neuralink is gonna be feasible or realistic. Like, where are the electrodes going to be placed? How is the data going to be read? In addition to Neuralink being able to prove that the safety of implanting their device is satisfactory, all these questions need to be answered before this becomes this. Stay tuned for our next video from the neurosurgeons.